Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So, this is going to be a Triant game, uh, and if you don't understand how Triant works, um, I just did a video about Triant, uh, and, like, just because I just maxed it out, um, and this is the deck that I actually like. Um, and I've tried, uh, yesterday I played a large quantity of games. I played a large quantity of games with both Blade Dancer and Triant, and trying out different kinds of things, um, and I just... Like, every time I kept trying to fix something, um, I would eventually just, I, I would come back to this. Like, I tried running Gadget with it instead of Mermaid, um, I tried running, uh, Mari, uh, for the chain attack, um, instead of Mermaid, I tried running Trapper and Crystal Mancer instead of Gunslinger, um, I tried Trapper and, um... Gunslinger instead of Crystal Mancer. I tried so many combinations of things and I just always came back to this version. Uh, like inevitably I would just like be like, all right, well, I need to fix this. And then I would change it and be like, oh, you know what? I, I don't like that because I don't have this anymore. And then I would change it back to this version. Um, and some more things that I've learned. Um, is so if you've watched that video, um, I'm going to assume that you have, uh, some things that I've learned, uh, with this. Uh, that I just came up with in this actual gameplay, um, is that if you decide to start upgrading your gunslinger manually, uh, and I do it mid-game, uh, you'll start, uh, like, when I, I think I, when I get to around, like, uh, th twos, like, somewhere in between two and threes, uh, on all my treons, um, I start realizing that every single time I level down I, well, I can't level down early because I'm waiting for my Crystal Mancers to upgrade. But what you can do is every single scrapper hit that hits a uh, Treon, it's not really worth that much, if that makes sense. Like, you need five scrapper hits to upgrade a Treon. Um, and, or essentially, you, you, like, at maximum, you need five scrapper hits to hit a, tr uh, to hit a Triant for it to upgrade to the next level. And obviously, you're trying to speed run to get to four, um, to get, uh, to level four Triants. Um, and so, if you, if you manually upgrade, um, and what I mean by manually upgrade, that, that came from, uh, like, scrapper upgrading, manually scrapper upgrading, back when scrapper didn't have talents. Um, and what you would do is, when something was about to get upgraded, in order to not have to run Dryad in your deck, what you could do is manually upgrade a Scrapper by when a Scrapper was going to get upgraded, you just move it, or when a thing was going to get upgraded, and that was the same level as your Scrapper, you could just move it to that thing, and then you would manually upgrade, you would upgrade your Scrapper manually, as opposed to merging out to get a level 2 Scrapper. Um, if you merge up your Gunslinger, uh, when you merge it down with the Treon ability, you're upgrading, like, up to, like, four and five and six, uh, Treons at the same time. And so, your Scrapper hits on your Gunslinger are actually more important than your Scrapper hits on your, uh, uh on your Treons. Obviously, uh, until they get to level four, at which point now you're just giving it percentage damage. Um, but yeah. That's definitely something I'm going to start doing, um, because being able to, uh, to manually upgrade your, uh, gunslinger really high, really early on is going to make your, your Treant hits, your Treant, uh, mana power ups, uh, much more effective. Um, I like running, uh, the six, uh, it's, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Um, however it works out, uh, it just depending on your growth tiles, um, I am not against running more. I am still running the hold the line because I, I, will, I will obviously always uh, have everything around um, my night statue, so there's no reason for me to run multiple night statues in order to get the same benefit. Um, and if you don't already know, uh, it, the opposite of hold the line is the Stone Legion. Um, and if you have two level seven night statues, uh, they give you 14%, but if you have, if you run hold the line instead, and you have three around it, or it's surrounding by the same unit, then you get 15% automatic. Um, and so since this is a very static deck, you just kind of like leave your, your treance there, and then you, you just kind of forget it. Um, hold the line is actually a reasonable, um, alternative, uh, that I don't feel like people, uh, use a lot. Um, and then in this game, I also do the, the trick where I can have 
a uh, that level two crystal mancer is up in the the upper left corner. Um, the level two I'm just gonna leave there because I realize that I can just not have um, I, I can just leave that space open right there. Um, and then it'll just always be active. I just have to keep eating away, um, and which I which I obviously do. Um, but yeah, this video is also uh, here to showcase uh, that uh, this is something that I would make in a shorts video um, in my my uh, just a tip series. I hope you guys are liking that, by the way. And even if you aren't, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> um, I sometimes I have longer thoughts than what a shorts video is like a, a YouTube shorts is, is a singular minute and sometimes my thought goes for like a minute 10 and it's just kind of annoying to do that and so instead of making these like you know 20 minute like dissertation videos or, or these like t 10 minute gameplay videos um, I thought that I would make something along the line of a YouTube short but be a little bit longer so it's a shorter video but it's longer than a youtube short and it's called just the tip um ban this would have normal this would probably go into a just the tip but it doesn't make sense for it to um and essentially what uh what i'm trying to get at this is night statue stacks don't matter anymore i don't know why i don't think night statue stacks matter anymore um there was a point in time when getting a whole lot of night statue stacks meant the you know like the difference between winning a game and losing a game like somebody with like 70 night statue stacks you're like oh well obviously that person wins um i don't think night statue stacks matter anymore either that or people just don't try um and maybe they could be getting to higher numbers but what i found in my infinite play testing last uh, yesterday um, is that whether or not I did a whole lot of night statue stacks and built a really good board and, you know, aesthetically pleasing, like, and it, it was, it was amazing and it would look cool. Um, I was getting beaten by just people with no night statue stacks, people that weren't even trying. So in this game, uh, that was one of the things I w that I also wanted to try. I was like, does it actually matter all that much? And I don't think it does. And I don't know why. Um, maybe the night statue stacks are just so low now that the, the point percentages that you're getting off of it is not, it, it's just not good enough. Um, you're getting 1.2, um, up to 30 times, which means that you're getting essentially 30% damage. Maybe that 30% damage on 30 stacks of night statues, um, it's just not enough or it's just not good enough. Uh, it's possible that running it with sharpened spear is also much harder. Um, at which point you would do the sharpened frenzy setup. Um, if you want to know that setup, look up my blooming, my new school blooming dash videos. Um, but even, even with that, I'm getting maybe like 20 stacks. So that's an extra 20%, which is something, something is better than nothing. But I feel like the amount of effort that you're taking to get to that isn't worth it. And I think maybe some people are just realizing that trying to just summon in to get night statue sacks is just not important. And you can focus all of your brain energy on other things. Um, if I do the, the sharp and frenzy setup, I'm obviously just going to do it by design. But if I have this setup where all three are in a line, um, all three of my growth tiles, and then I can use this like bottom, uh, middle, uh, for uh, as a, a ditch tile, uh, to get, st uh, scrapper stacks. You know what's funny is I don't even get max scrapper stacks. I do really bad on my scrapper stacks this game as well. I have zero, like, night statue stacks, um, and I still end up winning this. It's not like a really long game or anything, but it's all just to say that this deck is not as bad as you think it is. Um, I think it does work. Um, another thing that I was trying out was waste-free recycling, um, and I don't like it more than scrap them all. Um, I think that scrap them all is just easier to use. Um, you're also getting the obviously the the what is it ten percent? Uh, you're getting the ten or the twenty percent. You're getting the twenty percent bonus off of that as well. Um, and I think that it's just better. Um, I think it's just much easier to use. It's, it's functionally better. Um, you don't have the chance to get grandmastered, uh, which is very bad for this deck. Um, it, grandmaster in general is bad, but if you have like a level four, 
uh, or level four higher um, scrapper, like waste free recycling scrapper, uh, it's going to get really, really bad uh, because then it has the ability to just murder your entire field. Um, the Crystal Mancer, I think having three Crystal Mancers is my new thing. Um, I don't think four is four is four seems excessive. Um, and and another thing to note, I don't even have my uh, Crystal Mancers on a Knight Statue. Uh, that would normally be the benefit of doing the Sharpen Frenzy setup, um, is that you could, you could, uh, have the, uh, the Crystal Mancers on Knight Statues. I don't even think that's important. Um, but yeah, I think this deck is good. Uh, if you have a Triant, try it out. And yeah, the, I think that because all of your power is coming from the mana power up and upgrading your things as quickly as you can to level fours, do the gunslinger trick. Uh, your gun, make your scrappers always hit your gunslinger and just build a field of, of a treance and just let them sit there and, and le basically level down your gunslinger as you're scrappering. Um, and then by that time, uh, eventually your crystal mancers will start upgrading themselves as well. Um, because you'll get like a level, uh, a level five, level six, uh, gunslinger that you'll keep merging down and your crystal mancers will be like one, two, three, four, and then they'll be at a five and then you can stop doing that. Um, essentially you can stop like manually upgrading your gunslinger and just play the game normally. Um, and I think you'll have a much better time, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you uh, next video.